Well, 2024, the first video. I'm not dead. I'm just not detecting much. Just playing pool and sharpening knives. I just coming back from the beach with my new buddy, picking up some knives, dropping off some knives. And I'm going home and I'm going to sharpen some knives. It is Thursday around 12.30 or so. I've been battling goddamn bronchitis for 10 days. I don't know if you remember over the years I've had it. This is the fourth time. The first time I ever got it, I thought I was going to die. And that was when I was in my, I think, 60s, late 60s, and I got it. I said, holy Christ, what have I got? Well, I got rid of it. Then I got it a year or two later. Then I got it a year or two later. And I got it 10 days ago, which I didn't know it was bronchitis at the time. I was treating it for like the cough or a flu or something, you know? <laughs> Well, you know how that do self doctoring crap goes. Here we go again. Z packs, inhalers, muc mucinex, pearls, but I'm better. I never thought I'd be better, but I'm better. Now, I don't know if I told you all about this guy, and I think I did, but maybe I didn't. That is Mrs. Lambo. He is Jack's replacement. He rides with me everywhere we go. Everywhere. He's a full-blooded Australian seven-year-old shepherd that we rescued about, I don't even know, seven, eight months ago now, I guess. He was six months, six years and 11 months old when we rescued him. He wasn't actually rescued. The lady was who had him had him and a German shepherd. And she bought them both as puppies and they grew up together for six and a half almost seven years and she took take a new job and she was only allowed to have one animal so she gave him up in place of the german shepherd which i never will figure out i had a german shepherd and he was a great dog but i never had one of these dogs before and i don't know how many of you have them but i can tell you one thing he's the damnedest dog i ever been around my whole life he makes me laugh all day long. I've never found a dog that is like this dog. I don't know if all Australian shepherds are like this. I don't even know how to explain how he is. Anyway, we're going to do some dirt digging here in about a couple days, I think. I got a buddy of mine who's a peanut man. And <clears throat> he just retired big peanut company and he's going to get us some land on on some of it was confederate uh, a campsite for confederates during the civil war thomas and john thomas is charging that to bit that's that damn ways thing telling me i gotta go pick up some more knives i got a big farmer's market this saturday but I'm not gonna work it, it's a uh, big chance of rain, tons of wind. I'm just gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do. There's a big pool tournament going on. I may go and watch part of that local, local pool tournament, one pocket tournament. I got some guests in town. We're having a big Turn dinner tonight, 13 people for dinner. Crab cakes and meat and oh God. I'm not even gonna show it to you. You know how it goes. Look at that guy. God, he loves him. That's the reason we got him. She was fretting so bad after Jack died. I didn't know what was going to happen to her. And a dog lady buddy of mine says, get him, get him, get her another dog fast. So like I said, we found this guy and after one and a half days, they were the tightest buddies ever. They played every day. Miles. Turn left on First Court Road. He's a, he's a funny dog. I swear, I can't even believe it. How much joy and love he's brought into my life. I mean, I thought Jack was the greatest dog I ever owned until I got this guy. I mean, that's hard to say for me. But Jack was my buddy. But no longer than I've had this guy right here. Holy jumping Toledo. I don't know. I'm just
just rambling now. I got some knives I just picked up. Chris has got some knives. Some guy just dropped off. It's unbelievable, these knives. Okay, I'll get back to you.